Monsters Go Home. This movie, uh, the reason I'm talking about this movie is that uh, on Tuesday, uh, we are getting the new Rob Zombie Monsters reboot film. And then uh, that film is, and I'm going to be talking about that. We're getting that on Blu-ray and on Netflix this Tuesday. And so I want, so I've been, if, so if you're new to my channel, that's why I'm talking about this movie. I, uh, I have reviews for every single Rob Zombie movie ever made. And now we're talking about this movie. So what is this movie? Because I guess this movie can be kind of obscure. Uh, it only got a Blu-ray like two years ago. Uh, that's how obscure this movie is. And, uh, it, so... Most people know the monsters from the TV show, if they know them. This was a theatrically released movie based on the monsters. And that's kind of what this film is. And it's not great. Uh, there's some parts of it that are actually quite... <laughs> I don't want to say bad, because nothing here is really bad just kind of a it's kind of a meh movie because here's what this movie is it's a really long episode of the show um in this move in this uh movie you get it's the monsters find out about this will and then they find out that they're getting a small fortune from i believe was it i can't remember if it was a cousin or whatever anyways it's some relative and they go on vacation and they're on a ship and they go to these different locations and there's fun stuff with that it's an hour and a half monsters movie and that's a negative and a good thing i equate this to the adam west batman movie where if you don't like the tv show you're not gonna enjoy this movie it really doesn't do anything for you um it's not as uh, corny or cheesy or as as much as that there's still some corny and cheese here because this was made in the it was the 60s or 70s i forget no, it was the 60s. It was uh, 1966. That's when this uh, movie came out. The same year the Adam West Batman TV show came out. But, you know. Um, this was a fun movie. But, again, it, it's got the negative... It's got negatives and good cons to being an adaptation of the show. Basically, um, let's start with the good. I mean, it's Al Lewis's performance as Grandpa. Uh, you know, Dracula, basically. And uh, his performance is fantastic. It always has been in the show and in this movie and in the other, and, uh, future projects that he was in. Because these characters were played by these actors for so long. And that's why it's kind of hard to do a Munsters reboot. Because it isn't like the Addams Family where you've had different, character, uh, different actors come in and portray uh, different people. And also, Addams Family was based on comics and stuff. So... You know, it's a little bit different. Um, and then you got uh, Fred Gwynn as Herman. Just excellent performances all around as these characters. All the actors are very in tune with these characters. So that's fun. I Just where this movie falters is like, it has that cl classic monster's heart and feel. But the issue is just that, again, it's just a long episode of the TV show. There As a movie, it just doesn't work. Like, at one point, Herman's seasick. And then Grandpa turns himself into a wolf, which is hilarious to me because, like, they, they, they this is a real scene. So in the movie, they're on the ship, and and Grandpa turns himself into a wolf, goes down the hallway, and these guys going down the hallway, I think they were security guards on the ship, whatever. They go, oh, wolf, or no, they didn't say wolf. They said a dog. It's like it's very obviously a wolf. So they take this wolf and put him in a cage but it's like hilarious the way that scene was edited and then the way they call him a dog like oh it's a dog and then they just like that's literally what they say oh it's a dog and it's like you know still, it seems like it's a very 60s very dumb but you know it's fun um and then it's like you know i mean but when you get break that stuff down it's like okay he turns into he turns back into a human pretty quickly it's not like he's a wolf the whole movie so it leads to this movie being kind of lame because he turns himself into a wolf and, and, and like that matters nothing to the story 
So there's these bits and pieces that feel like in a Munsters episode that would have been fun, and it's 22 minutes and fun little gags. As a movie, it just doesn't flow together well as a story. A lot of this movie feels like bits and pieces of Munsters episodes. But at the same time, if you like the Munsters, you'll like this movie overall. I mean, because it's fun. It's, it's, it's not horrible. Um, it's just It just is one of those things where they didn't really expand this movie enough to make a full movie and I mean there's definitely an attempt but it just is just a monsters episode it's the best thing about it and it's the worst thing about it and that's just kind of what this movie is I, I I'm glad I finally saw this movie being the monsters fan that I am I, I do really like this show um but it does mean that this show, movie is just a little bit weak is all but yeah, I'm very excited for the new Monsters movie. Whether that be for better or for worse. Um, let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.